Well, first of all, no country will be automatically included in such a trade agreement, which means that other countries, for instance, that have free trade agreements or association agreements or customs unions with the European Union, they will not automatically be affected by this agreement, positively or negatively, which means that if those countries want to try to get similar market access benefits to the United States, they will have to negotiate their own agreements with the United States. The good thing, I think, is that there will be a willingness on the part of the United States to try to rope in the larger territory around Europe, which also have uh, strong market integration with Europe. Likewise, I think there's going to be a willingness in Europe to look to Canada and Mexico to find way find a way to integrate them into a transatlantic deal that will be made as well. So I think we're going to see second round effects of, of that kind to come from a transatlantic agreement. Uh